It was a missing persons case until the body of Lindsay Van Blanken was found in a sports bag. She was killed by her jealous ex-boyfriend. He spent the past 18 years locked up and has never said sorry. Lindsay's mother is now pleading, don't release him. Terrified, he'll kill again. Lindsay was my baby, the youngest, and I lost her. She was so close to getting away from She him. was. His face was blank, and it was like he was staring through all of us. His eyes are pure evil. It was the early 2000s in Sydney's East. Lindsay Van Blanken, then just 16, meets cello player William Matheson, who's performing at her mum Cynthia's wedding. Instantly, he had a hold over her. Cynthia, I wish I didn't know you. I know. Yeah, I know. That would mean that Lindsay was still with us, but here we are sitting down 18 years later. Mm. I wished I hadn't hired a string quartet because Lindsay would be alive. And you think, you know, why did I do that? You know, it wouldn't have happened. Tell me a little bit about your beautiful Lindsay. She was so talented, so kind, and she was just had so much ahead of her. Her future would have been so good. And he's taken all that away. Definitely controlled her to a point where she was speaking the same way as him. Had you must have been it. beside yourself as, as a parent that you're seeing your daughter change in front of your eyes and you were powerless. It was just sheer horror and then you get this complete reversal because of him. Well, we now know that's coercive control, right? Yes. Mm. I think that's what he's good at. Eventually, the relationship ended. Lindsay left Will started dating again and even got engaged. Will couldn't cope with her moving on without him. He started stalking her, mm. sending abusive texts. Yes. Was she scared? Petrified in the end, but it, it built up. That's how he does it. I mean, he started off slow, but then it got worse and worse and worse. He was following her everywhere. We had neighbours that were witnesses that said he was standing outside our house at three in the morning, staring up at the windows. I mean, he was doing that every night. That's frightening. But that's what he was doing. 24th November, 2003. Mm. Lindsay's seen outside her work building having a fight with Will. Mm. When she catches the train home that day, yeah. he's waiting at the station and she's never seen again. I just can't imagine as a parent that feeling you'd have in the pit of your stomach when your child doesn't come home. That's what it was. Especially mine because they don't, they don't, you know, they always came home. When did you start thinking that something really bad may have happened? Christmas, Christmas Day, because I knew she wouldn't miss Christmas Day. Clinging on to hope, pleading with the public for information. We love you and miss you and we're worried about you. Please come home. I'm just thinking when she went missing, you know, Christmas Day, that's a month she's been missing. Yeah, it was. And Will Matheson calls from her phone. Yeah. Knowing what he's done. Mm. He used that phone to call the family. He knew Lindsay was dead. A breakthrough came seven weeks after her disappearance. A body is found stuffed in a cricket bag in a storage unit. Lindsay Van Blanken was just 18. Tortured, and murdered at the hands of the first man she ever loved, William Matheson. That's the room where Lindsay's body was discovered. Can we just go somewhere else? Damning evidence piled up. Scratches on his body. He admitted seeing Lindsay the day she went missing. It's probably the wrong thing to go and see her. And perhaps the most chilling of all, this song he wrote. Just the other day I watched you pass away. 
Has he shown any remorse? Has he given you any answers as to Lindsay's final moments and why he did it? No, we've only got those songs. This wasn't a in the moment fit of rage attack. This was something that was meticulously planned. He lured her to that storage room. He bought the cricket bag. Mm. It was calculated. All of it. Surgical gloves, mm. diver's boots, no footprints, no handprints. He had it right down pat. And that's him. Will Matheson was sentenced to 27 years jail, a minimum of 18. Matheson didn't react when the verdict was read out. He sat with his head bowed, no family or friends in court to support him. Your opinion on what you think of the sentence? I was just really happy with the judge's um, summary and hopefully for us it's closure. He appeared placid in court, but he sent shivers up my spine in the worst possible way. His eyes are pure evil. There was such relief when this monster was sent away, but fast forward to now though, and you're sitting here begging for him to be kept in jail. The idea that your daughter's killer could be back on the streets again soon must make you feel sick. It does, it really does. And I just can't believe that it's happening. And you know, you speak to people from the victim's register and they say, oh, uh, we know how you feel. They don't, mm. nobody could know how I feel. It's just been one thing after another and you, it just gets worse as the years go on because we miss her so much. Cynthia, this is your baby girl. He's potentially about to get his life back. Yes. So he's actually served the equivalent of my daughter's age, which isn't fair. And look, he'll be 42. Mm. He has time to go on and, I don't have know, meet someone, mm. have children, live a life. If they let him out next week, they will be responsible for what happens and it won't be good. Will Matheson is now up for parole. If successful, he'll live in the community for the last six years of his sentence. If he does stay locked up, Cynthia will be forced to have this fight again next year. But she'll never give up on her daughter. I'm gonna fight it to the last minute. I know he will do it again. I know he will do it again. To the parole board, which has the power to keep him locked up or to mm. give him his freedom, what do you say? Please don't let him out. Don't let him out. If he does get parole on Friday, Matheson will be under constant supervision. But for Lindsay's family, that brings little comfort. Frankly, they're terrified.